Well, Erin, we've only got a couple minutes left, and I definitely want to touch base with you on layoffs. Um, obviously, we've seen a lot of movement in the tech industry, uh, tech companies that have slashed hundreds and thousands of jobs. Uh, first of all, I want to get your take on the industry and also any insight to, uh, you know, has there been any layoffs at Box or are there any coming? Yeah, so um, so in our case, we're, we're maybe a little bit more fortunate on this front um, uh, because we went through an exercise about three years ago, going through the entire business and setting a foundation for profitable growth at scale. And as a part of, of that foundation, we had to make a bunch of operational decisions and create a lot of hygiene internally for how we open up new investments, uh, what areas do we grow in, what product innovation can we invest in. And that put us in a position where we have a very, very rigorous process uh, for how we make investments across the company. And so um, I think unlike some companies, and this is just, we were fortunate to have done this years ago, um, but unlike some companies, we, we didn't you know dramatically overinvest relative to our growth rate or kind of what was happening in the industry. And so that's let us put us put up well over 20% operating margin, um, you know, results in, in, for instance, the past couple of quarters. So kind of a much higher degree of profitability. And that's, that's just, again, a discipline that now is baked into the company and, and it's, it's how we've executed um, over the past year and, and how we will continue to do. So um, other than some, you know, kind of one-off situations where we might have to move some funding from one organization to another or um, adapt some individual's roles, uh, we've not had to do, you know, the the, the sort of broad-based layoffs that um, that we've seen, but that's really only just due to the fact that we got ahead of this many years ago. So we were more just, you know, kind of fortunate from a timing standpoint to build that into the business. Um, you know, when you look at across the the rest of the industry, um, I I do think that we're in an era of of basically uh, businesses uh, that that for years and years have just been funded with more and more constant venture capital. Uh, in many cases, losing large amounts of money. Um, I think we're in a period where, uh, wall, you know, probably starting with Wall Street, uh, but all the way down now into private markets, um, you know, these businesses and startups are realizing that, that they have to be profitable at, at some point at scale. And so you're going through really a kind of a cultural change in Silicon Valley where costs do matter, profit does matter, um, building sustainable long-term businesses matter. And um, and that's really just the, the I think the, the period that we're in right now, um, but I'm, I'm, you know, I, I think as at the, as a result of going through this and at the other end of it, um, I think you're going to have very healthy businesses that get built um, that um, uh, that that you know still have an incredible amount of opportunity ahead. Um, so I just think this is a sort of you know a period where where there's that cultural shift happening in the valley.